Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, some of you might use an Android phone. Did you know you could sync a lot of data between your phone and your Linux computer? KDE Connect allows you to tightly integrate your phone with your Linux desktop whether you're using KDE or not. Let's take a look. What is KDE Connect? It's an awesome project developed by the K Desktop Environment, or KDE for short. It allows you to receive your phone notifications on your desktop computer and vice versa, control music playing on your desktop from your phone, use your phone as a remote control for your desktop, as well as other nifty stuff such as transfer files easily between the two devices. It works with a dedicated Android app as well as a program to install on your computer. How do I install it? Well, first you need to get the Android app from the Play Store or from FDroid. Just look for KDE Connect in the store or click the link in the description below. Once the app is installed, you need to install the desktop component as well. So just open a terminal and type sudo apt install KDE Connect. Of course, the command might be different if you're not using a Debian-based distribution. And there you go, everything is installed. So now how to pair the devices? Well, just open the KDE Connect settings application on your desktop and open the KDE Connect app on your phone. If the two devices are on the same network, whether it's Wi-Fi or wired for your computer, they should see each other and you should be able to ask for pairing. So what can it do? File transfer. You can easily send files from your phone to your computer through the application itself. Just open KDE Connect, select File Transfer and select the file. It will directly be transferred to your home folder on your computer. Then there's Media Control. You can now easily control your computer's music playback from your phone. KDE Connect will detect the audio players and allow you to play, pause, skip songs and adjust volume, something that Spotify users might already be familiar with. Then there's the trackpad function. You can also use your phone as a trackpad to control the mouse cursor just by sliding your finger on the phone's display, just like you would on a trackpad on a laptop. Notification sharing. Your phone's notifications can now appear on the desktop, and the desktop's notification can appear on your phone as well. Just enable notifications in the KDE Connect application. Of course, you can enable and configure all of these integrations and more from the KDE Connect application and the KDE Connect settings on your desktop, which will install automatically when you install KDE Connect. Using KDE Connect on Plasma is obviously more full-featured and better integrated, but you can still take advantage of it if you're not using KDE. And for GNOME users, you can also install the GS Connect, which is GNOME Shell Connect extension, to benefit from the same features. It was considered for inclusion by default in Ubuntu 18.10, but won't be at the time of this video. There are a lot more plugins that you can use as well, such as sharing the clipboard between your phone and your computer, finding your phone by making it play an alarm sound by clicking a button on your computer, inhibit the screensaver on your computer when the phone is connected, or simply running commands, which you can configure in the KDE Connect settings application and run immediately from one tap from your phone. So there you go guys, enjoy syncing between your devices. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.